y'all Shay here thank you so much for coming to this week's whip and chat whip stands for w-i-p and it means work in progress and what these videos mean is basically um, we're just gonna hang out for about an hour or so depending on how much I have to say and uh, how much you want to hear and then we'll just kind of you know I'll work on my diamond painting and pull out whatever you want to do and we'll catch up on you know personal stuff of mine um, y'all let me know how you're doing and we'll just kind of go from there it's just a nice way for us to um, you know keep each other company while we're you know doing our, our whips so all right um, thank you all very much for being here um, please let me know down in the comments I love to read your comments so please let me know how you are um, it is Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all um, I normally film these earlier in the day like Wednesday morning after the kids go to school but y'all, it is 8.51 p.m., so it is nighttime. So this is very unusual for me to film this time of day. But um, you can call me Butter, who's Randy. She uh, came over today, and we spent the day diamond painting. And so I didn't have an opportunity to film this whip and chat. So I wanted to get it in before I went to bed. So hopefully I can get it edited and put up, and y'all can see it in the morning like I'm used to putting it up. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can go a full hour. I don't know. We'll see how I do this time of day. Um, I will say I do apologize in advance if you do hear um, Nate. We share a wall. His room's on the other side of my craft room, and he is gaming with friends. So I hope you don't hear him, but we'll see how it goes. I normally have coffee. That's not the case. We have the adult beverage. We have a little bit of wine. Just popped it open and poured it. So, all right. So let's get started. Let me show you what I'm working on. This is, now I do have it upside down, so you are reading this upside down, it's craftably. This is a craftably diamond painting, and here's what she looks like. This is the logbook sticker that they include. It's a, it's Gracie the gardener, and she is square, and it's an 18 by 24 in inches. I started her on May 1st, and what's today, y'all? The 18th for me, so yeah. Um, I flipped her over, and I've finished all the way. All I have left is this row, and then I'm almost done with this square. Just a little bit of a uh, color blocking right here. And then I have this other square. So like one, two, three, four. So hopefully I'll be finished soon. Uh, we are going on vacation in a few days. So I don't think I'll be able to finish this before we leave, but I'm not doing it for an event. It's just for fun. It's just a, a fun spring painting. So yeah, um, let me show you what else I'm working on or what I'm using. This is my uh, diamond painting pen and this is from Enablers Outpost. I did uh, win this pen from them during one of their lives. And if you haven't checked out one of their lives, definitely go check them out. They are awesome. They go live Tuesdays. Don't quote me, but I think it's five Eastern time, I believe. But go check them out on YouTube and Instagram and they have when their lives are on there. Um, I am using stainless steel tips. I just recently got these. This is a six placer. And I today, you know, Randy and I were talking about what to use in there because I was kind of struggling with it. Um, I do have Randa's Crafty Corner, I believe is her name, but I have her putty in my multi-placer. And I got these uh, stainless steel tips from Butterfly Effect Wears. I'll have all this stuff listed down below in case y'all are interested. And then here's the single placer, and I do have micro glue dots in my um, single placer. And I apologize for it getting blurry. It's like my hand up, my hand, it's trying to focus. So yes, I love my big chunky pen. And then I do have a cover minder. And what a cover minder is, for the plastic that goes on top of the diamond painting, I do use washi tape to section off. So I kind of, you know, just work in sections. Kind of helps me, you know, have a, you know, have focus just on one area. But if you peel this back, and there is another magnet on the back, and you just put this here, and then you put the other magnet underneath your diamond painting. And now I do have a magnetic desk cover right now on my desk. So it just holds back your plastic. So for me, being I have a magnetic cover, I just have to go like that. So yes, by the way, this cover minder is by uh, Cover Minders by Saban. She does have an Etsy shop and she's got some beautiful, beautiful cover minders. So definitely go check her out. Love Saban. She's got some great quality. I mean, look, at it's almost like you can see the paint in the, in the wings. It's so pretty. And there's some blue ABs, like some rhinestones. So I have that. Um, my tray is from a fairly new shop to me. This is from Alyssa. And she does have an Etsy shop and it's Butterfly Resin Gems. Wait, Butterfly Resin, yes. 
And yes, this is one of her trays. She reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in one. I was like, absolutely, it's a gorgeous tray. It's got butterflies and she asked me what my favorite colors were. So she's got some yellow flowers in there. So yes, definitely go check her out. She's got different size trays. She has cover minders, all types of fun things. And she can put different graphics inside the tray. Yes, so she's got some you know, foil in here. It's really pretty. So I am using hers and the, the drills line up really, really nice. And then I am using my Elizabeth Ward storage containers for storage, okay? Now with this painting, um, I did not use any extra ABs. ABs, for those of you that may be new, it's Aurora Borealis. And it's a special coating. You can see it on this one that they put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. Three ABs came with this painting and there's a lot of them. So I didn't feel like I needed to enhance it with anything else. And then of course, to um, cut my uh, plastic for each square, I do have a little pen cutter that I got on Amazon. It's a tiny little blade and that helps, you know, cut this so I can peel it back. And I think that's it. Yeah, okay, I think we've covered it all. So let's get started. Um, let's see, let me get my pen. Now let's see how, how this works because I just loaded it up with the putty and I've got to get used to it. Y'all, I was using pink wax. I know, it's, but it worked and it's worked, you know, this entire time, but using stainless steel tips, I was kind of struggling. So I need to, and I normally don't multi-place when I do whipping chats because I'm focusing and I'm talking to y'all and I don't want to like count and like focus too much. I want to focus on y'all, not this. So, but yeah, we'll see if I can do both. Yeah, Randy said it does stick a little bit and it does. So the reason why um, I waited till this late to do the whipping chat is because, you know, Randy was here, she got here about 9.30 this morning and she stayed till about four. And I was gonna do it after she left, but I thought, you know what, that's not fair to y'all. I was kinda, you know, spent a little bit from just, you know, hanging out with her all day. And I'm like, let me eat dinner, let me recharge, let me rest a little bit. And then after Lou goes to bed, then we can hang out. And so I felt like I was in good shape to be able to hang out with y'all and, and talk, talk to you. So a uh, couple things before I forget, we, like I mentioned, we are going on vacation and I have decided to take the week off so there will not be any videos next week. Uh, we leave this Saturday and we're going to Hawaii. Very, very excited, y'all. Um, the last time we went to Hawaii was Lou, who's now almost 10. She was about 10 months old. So it's been a very long time. We've been planning this trip for, for a couple of years now. We surprised, the, we surprised the kids one year at Christmas, year before last, and told them we were gonna plan a trip. And I can't believe it's finally here. Yeah, it's coming up quick. So with that being said, because we're leaving on Saturday, there will not be a live Sunday, okay? No live Sunday. And then like I said, I'm just gonna kind of take the week off. I was gonna pre-film some videos, but I'm like, you know, I'm kind of in the midst of like paint, you know, packing and taking care of the animals and the kids, it's their last week of school. So it's been kind of hectic this week. So I just thought, you know, let me just, it's not, it's not, not the end of the world if I take a week off, y'all will be fine. So don't forget about me, okay? Don't forget about me. But y'all have fun when I'm gone. I will, um, you know, for those of you that are Patreons, I do have a Patreon. And um, so if you're interested, that is down below. And my Patreons, I'll do a little vlogging while I'm there and be able to update them on what I'm up to. So yeah, um, we are staying at a Disney resort. We are big Disney fans and we've never been to the Disney resort that they have in Hawaii. There obviously is not a theme park. It's just, um, I heard that it's not, it's just kind of sprinkled and it's real subtle, the Disney-ish part of it. They do have some characters. There is kind of Mickey's kind of subtly, you know, but it's not like in your face, Mickey's, you know, all that stuff like it is at the theme parks. So that'll be nice. It's a change of play, pace. We normally, um, that's all we do on vacations. We go to Disney twice a year. We normally go during spring break and then Thanksgiving. So this will be nice to do something different and do a beach, maybe a little bit of slower pace, you know, activities. So. Um, the kids do want to uh, zip line, so that should be interesting. My husband and I are just gonna watch them from the ground. We have no interest. I'm really scared of heights and so is he, so probably worse than me and I was like, eh, I'm good. So yeah, we'll see if the kids get an opportunity to do that. Um, we haven't signed them up for anything. We, I need to look and kind of get that set up or we might just do it when we get there, just find somewhere um, and maybe ask the hotel. But we wanna do a luau and then my husband really wants to do Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor Museum, and the um, there's a um, 
what's it called? A carrier. I knew the words, y'all, but they just left me. Air, air, I forget y'all, but it's an aircraft carrier. I think that's what it is. And you can take a tour of it. It's supposed to be really cool. I think the boys would really like that. I'm not sure if Lou and I, but we'll see. It'll be kind of fun to take a tour. So that's probably gonna be a full day. But yeah, so that's kind of what, we're, what we've got going on. So I, miss, I will miss you guys. You know, I really enjoy doing my lives every week and doing whipping chats and unboxings and all the things, but you know, it, it'll be nice. I've never taken a week off and this, I've been on here, I've been on YouTube, a March was a year. So it will be nice to take a little break. You know, everybody needs a little break. Um, I have, I've been contemplating whether or not to bring a painting or not to do. Um, it is an eight hour plane ride total when it's all said and done. And I'm thinking, would I be able to diamond paint on the airplane? I've never diamond painted on an airplane before. So y'all let me know down in the comments if you've ever done that. And if you have any tips and tricks, um, you know, it's three hours to LA and then we have a layover there and then it's another five hours, you know? So it's, it's you know, the kids are a little bit older. And for those of you that are new, hi there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us. Um, the kids are, my youngest is nine, my daughter, and then my two boys are 15 and 17. So the boys will be totally fine. Lou, on the other hand, will need a little bit of entertaining. You know, she'll want me to color with her and play and, but you know, she'll watch her iPad for a little bit. So what I've decided to do is, if y'all have been on here and you've seen me do a few of them, um, I do those monthly, um, those little monthly dessert cups every month and they're a 40 by 40 and they've got 20 colors. So I was thinking about bringing June's um, dessert cup with me and trying to do that. I just, I kitted it up yesterday with her, uh, Harbor Freights. I've got one Harbor Freight cause it holds, you know, 24. So I was like, I'll do that. And I just, and it's a 40 by 40. So I think I can manage that on an airplane or maybe even not on the airplane, maybe like in the hotel, right? Maybe at night when we're all kind of chilling, um, you know, taking it easy, maybe I can pull it out. But I'm kind of going back and forth on, sorry y'all, there's a little bit of putty. So I was just trying to scrape it off a little bit. I'm not used to the residues a little bit, just along the edges. And Randy warns me and I don't think I cleaned off my multi-placer enough. So it left a little bit. Um, Sorry, I got distracted by this. Yeah, let me make sure this is clean. Oh yeah, it's starting to ooze out a little bit. She told me to make sure it's cleaned off because it will get on the edges and it sure sure did. But yeah, I really like this putty and this tray is amazing. So Alyssa, loving your tray. It's great. I, have, I, haven't, I don't think I've ever worked with a resin tray before. So they line up really nice and it's been easy to grab them. Um, what else? Okay, so yes, so that's diamond painting. So I think I might try to bring one. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am freaking out. So for those of you that know me, know me, I love mermaids, okay? Y'all know that. I buy a lot of mermaid paintings, I've done a lot, I'm just, I love them. I always have for a very long time. Well, uh, I've had a few people send me some messages today with Dime, one of Diamond Art Club's new releases that's gonna be coming out this Saturday. There is a gorgeous, gorgeous mermaid painting. I haven't even looked at Diamond Art Club's Instagram yet. I haven't seen anything. I've just seen the posts that people have been forwarding me because everybody knows I love them. And I don't even know who the artist is. I think it's Mandy Manzano, but y'all, I could be wrong. I haven't even had a chance, again, to like even look at it. But, oh, I will be. I'm gonna look at it tonight. After I get done doing this, when I lay in bed, I kind of just, you know, do a little bit of, of you know, kind of just chilling on my iPad and looking up stuff and surfing the web. And I'm gonna see what the deal is. I've seen pictures of it and it's it's definitely one that I want. So um, I'm gonna set my alarm and cause we don't leave until like later in the afternoon. So I think it's gonna be perfect. I think I'll have time to grab that before we leave. I'm also a little torn because Butterfly Effect Wears, who has beautiful pens, um, they have their um, pr pris bleh, prismatic, y'all it's late. Uh, anyways, they have new, uh, Butterfly Effect Wears has new pen drops every Saturday, typically. And I don't have a pen like the one they're going to be dropping this Saturday. But I don't think I'm going to be around to grab it. So Randy's like, let me know if you want one. They're rainbow, y'all. Rainbow pens. And I know I don't have a rainbow pen because when I decided to kit up that June um, dessert cup, it had some rainbows on it for summer. And I thought, huh, what pen would look cute with that? Let me see what I have in my stash. 
I don't have anything rainbow in my stash. I don't have a rainbow pen. So I'm like, I might need one. So I might ask Randy to try to grab one for me and I can pay her back, of course. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I, if I think I really need one. I mean, do I really need one, y'all? I might, right? I mean, who need, I mean, I don't have a rainbow pen. Yeah, let's see how good this shakes out. Let me just do a little bit lower for y'all. Oh yeah, those line up really nice. Look at that. Very nice, Alyssa. Love, love, love this tray. It's a good size too. Um, yeah, so that's diamond painting news. There's a painting I want. There's a pen I would like. So we'll see. I might be busy though, getting ready to get out of town. So we'll see what I can manage. Um, what else? So other news, um, had some medical stuff kind of go on this past week. Um, now I normally take notes for these videos, but y'all, I just did not take notes this week. I've kind of just been, like I said, you know, thinking about the trip and packing and all that stuff. Um, but I did not take notes, but I did want to talk to y'all about something very, very exciting. Okay. So we've got a couple different things to talk about. We've got some medical stuff, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about the good news. Okay. The good news. If y'all watch my last whip and chat, and if you haven't, that's okay. But just to update y'all in my last whip and chat, I did tell y'all about Rachel. And for those of you of my friends that are named Rachel, y'all know who you are. I apologize if I named a bird after you, but I might have. But yeah, I know it's weird to hear your name, but Rachel the Robin had babies. Y'all, she had babies. We have, okay, up until today, the last two, three days, about three days ago is when we saw the, we saw the babies for the first time, Lou spotted them. We only saw two. And we thought, okay, she's got two. But the nest is really high up, so we can't really see in there. Plus, we're not going to mess with, you know, the babies, and we don't want the mommy to, you know, leave. So we're like, we were just kind of curious. And the other day, we were trying to look, and we couldn't see in there. But anyways, we've left them alone. But anyways, we saw two little heads pop up, two little beaks. And we're like, okay, that's Roy. So we had Roy. She had a boy and a girl. That's what we're going to call it. We had Roy and Rhonda. Okay. So for the last two days, we've been bird watching and watching them and Rachel comes and feeds and worms and y'all, you see their little beaks, they're so cute. I've been taking pictures, so I may, I may insert some pictures of uh, Rachel and of the babies. Um, but this afternoon, I freaked out. I was out there and I was looking at them and all of a sudden I look and I'm like, wait, wait a second. One, two, there's three beaks. There's three beaks. Where did this third one come from? And then as I'm looking up there, I see a fourth beak, a fourth beak. So we have Robert, Rhonda, Regina, and Roy. Okay, those are the babies. So far we've seen four now, so they're like multiplying. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they hatched later. They all look the same, like same size and everything. So maybe they just were like slow going and we just didn't see them. I don't know, but it's not a very big nest. I'm like, oh gosh. So we're really scared that they're going to fall out of the nest. So we moved a little like soft mat under, you know, at the bottom. And you know, if anything does happen, so my husband and I talked about it. I'm like, what do we do if one of the babies falls out? He's like, we'll just get a ladder and, you know, put them back up in the nest. I'm like, okay. So we're like, I'm prepared every morning when I wake up and I, before I let the dogs out outside, I always look to make sure that the babies are not on the ground. I'm like, so paranoid y'all. Like I needed one more thing to take care of, right? And, and worry about, I'm like, why did I let her build a nest here? Because we have the two dogs, we have the bunny, we have the hamster, we had frogs, but the frogs just, the frogs just passed away last week. So the frogs are gone. What else do we have? We have three kids. Now we have four bird, four baby birds and Rachel. Yeah, so, and I know they're not really ours, but you know, we, we'll take care of them if we have to. Right? So, okay. So that's the bird news. It's all is good. So far, so good. And it's so funny. We see Rachel come and go, but then we also see another bird come. We'll see two of them. So I guess it's the father. I don't know. Y'all tell me if you know anything about birds. This is all new to us. We've never had a nest before. We've never had the babies, but it's been super fun to watch. Okay. So I have to admit something that I did tonight, tonight that I feel bad about. So let me back up. So last night, um, it was time to cook dinner and I had bought some chicken I was going to grill some chicken outside. Now the bird nest is right above the barbecue grill. 
y'all know where this is going. <laughs> um, I decided not to turn on the grill last night because I was like, I can't, you know, the birds are right here. And what about the nest and the babies and the whole nine yards? So I did not cook the chicken last night because of the birds and we ended up ordering pizza. Well, tonight it was time to make dinner and my husband was on a conference call and I was like, hmm, he's gonna think I'm ridiculous if I don't cook dinner, if I don't grill the chicken because of the birds. He's gonna think I'm like, you know, cuckoo. Get it y'all, cuckoo. So I was like, he's gonna be like, what? You're not making dinner, you're not cook you're not grilling the chicken because of the birds. So I was so scared, but I was like, I gotta, I gotta make dinner. These birds can't stop us from like cooking dinner. So I'm like, they'll be fine. Y'all, I turned on the grill. <laughs> I feel awful. Everything's fine. Whoops, sorry y'all, everything's fine. Just to let y'all know before I tell the story, everything's good. I turned on the grill and I was letting it heat up and then it started smoking a little bit. And my husband comes out and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm making dinner. I'm like, but I don't, I, I've got the grill on and I'm kind of worried about the birds. He's like, don't turn the grill on. And so I run outside, I'm like, oh my God, should I turn it off? He's like, yes, yes. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all. He goes, you almost cooked the birds. I was like, oh my God, I feel so bad. So we have an outdoor fan. So I run over there and I turn all the, all the burners off and we turn on the outdoor fan and we're putting it towards the nest so all the smoke goes away. He looks at me and I look at him and I'm like, I didn't know what to do. I kind of felt like you were gonna make fun of me if I like didn't make dinner and didn't grill because of the birds. He's like, no, you can't turn the grill on. They'll get too hot. And I was like, oh, now I feel awful. Now I feel you know, like a, a bad bird mom. I was like, okay. So all's good. The grill turned off. The birds are good. But y'all, this bird thing has been kind of stressful. Yeah, so that's the update on the little birdies. Um, and I'm curious to see when we're gone and when we come back, um, what's gonna happen. We'll see if they are still there, if they've gotten bigger. I don't know how long it takes for them to learn how to fly. I don't know any of these things, so we'll see. Um, what else? Okay, so back to the eh news. Not good, not bad, just kind of eh. Um, I told y'all on my last whip and chat that I had some blood work done, right? I went to the OBGYN, so I went to the gynecologist and got my annual. Well, they said I would know the results in a week for my blood work, because I was telling them I feel really tired. Y'all, hold on, I finished the section. Ooh, I'd love to run my hands over it and see if anything's like sticking up. I just push it down, but no, they're pretty good. Oh, that looks really good. All right, so I, um, I went, let's see y'all, what day was it? It was like, oh, it was earlier last week. And so I waited this week, Monday came, Tuesday went, you know, and I was like, I need to call them and find out what's going on. No, this was last week, that's right. Y'all, I'm a little confused. So anyways, uh, last Friday, I decided to call them because it had been over a week. It was like a week and a half. So I called them and I said, you know, I was calling for my blood results and she goes, yeah, we'll call you back. I was like, okay. So I get a call back right before it's time to pick up Lou from school. And the nurse calls me. And she's like, hi. She's like, just wanna let you know that, you know, got your message. And she said, we got your blood results back. And uh, she said, the only thing that we saw was um, you're deficient in vitamin D. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, you just need to take some vitamin D supplements as directed and you're good. I'm like, perfect. She's like, we didn't find anything, you know, we didn't find anything else in the blood work. I'm like, okay, good. So I thought that was gonna be it. And I was pretty happy. I was like, okay. But then she's like, but I also wanna to talk to you about something else. And I was like, uh-oh. She's like, we found some abnormalities. That's a hard word, y'all. Abnormalities on your pap smear. And so we need you to come back and have a biopsy. So that was scary. Um, so I went on, um, I went Monday of this week and had that done. It wasn't too bad. I'm just gonna scooch all over a little bit so I can do this section. Y'all, after this, I'll have one more row after this square. Um, okay, let's make sure y'all can see. Y'all good? Okay. So, I had to go Monday for the biopsy. I was scared because you know I've never had one done before. I didn't really know what that involved, what would that you know involved. They didn't tell me anything beforehand, so I figured you know if it was really invasive, they probably would have told me something. And they're doing it in the office, so I'm like, it can't be that bad. It really wasn't bad. It was a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't bad. And uh, I won't go into too many details, um, but 
I'm just waiting now to get the results back from that. So that's been a little nerve wracking this week. Um, I did ask him, he's like, do you have any questions when he was done? And I said, yeah, I said, when will I find out the results? And he said, well, it takes about, you know, he said, uh, probably about Thursday or Friday. And I said, okay, well, the reason why I ask is because we're going out of town on Saturday. He goes, where are you going? I'm like, we're going to Hawaii. And he goes, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll call you before then. So what, today's Wednesday, Wednesday night, and I haven't heard back from them. So, and I know it's, it's not time yet. So I was kind of hoping I would hear something by now. But I've kind of just been letting the days go by, just waiting and waiting and waiting and trying not to worry. So I've just been preoccupied this week with that. And then, you know, just, you know, it's just a lot going on. So, but I'm still here. I'm still alive and kicking. I'm still doing what I got to do. So if I just seem a little absent lately, that's why. And the vacation actually is coming at a good time. You know, it'll be good to get away. And I know I can't escape whatever it might be, but that's okay. You know, I already told myself, if it is something, I'll deal with it. And, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it, whatever it is. I'm just hoping it's nothing. I've just never had to do this before. So, so you'll let me know if you've ever had something like this happen. And, you know, um, don't scare me. <laughs> don't scare me. I made the mistake of Googling some things of what it could be. And I was like, why am I doing this to myself? It actually made me feel better though. I realized that if it is something there's, you know, I can have, there's, you know, you can have surgery to have things removed. Um, you know, all those things, all the what ifs and worst case scenarios, but we'll see. So I will let y'all know, um, just, you know, I wouldn't mind an extra prayer or I don't know if you're, if you're not a praying type, you know, maybe just an extra, you know, um, good vibes, good thoughts sent my way. I would appreciate it. So what else y'all, what time are we at? Okay. So about 27 minutes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't think this is going to be an hour because I feel like I've already kind of told y'all everything. I haven't told you everything, but I've told you most of the stuff. Um, the same day that I got the call from the doctor's office about the update and me having to have a biopsy, I also got, um, my mom and dad had stopped by the house and they live about, you know, a mile and a half from us. They're really close. Um, they stopped by the house and were saying hi to us and talking and I'm like, hmm, I guess they just stopped by and, but they said, well, we actually stopped by for a reason. Um, we wanted to talk to you. I was like, okay. And they informed us that they're moving. So my mom and dad are moving. Um, and they're moving, they're going to be in Texas still, but they're going to be moving about six hours away from us. Um, my grandmother needs help. Um, she's getting older. And now that my uncle has passed away, it's really just on my dad to take care of her. So he, um, they've decided to move down there to be closer to her, which I understand. And I can't, you know, can't be upset. I mean, I can be, you know, I'm sad. And the kids, you know, Ryan said the same thing. My oldest, he was like, mom, you know, I, I'm sad that they're moving, but I understand why. And I said, I, you're right. And I was trying to make him feel better. And I'm like, wait, at this, after I said it, I'm like, I'm like, don't be sad. I'm like, it's okay. And I was like, wait, I'm, it's okay to be sad. I should let you have those feelings, you know, and not try to talk you out of them. But he goes, but I understand. I'm like, I do too. And that's what makes it maybe easier, I guess. But it was just kind of a, a, a you know crazy day to find out all that information all at once. So, yep. Um, but you know we'll, we'll hold down the fort here, and you know maybe it, it won't be forever. Maybe it'll just be a temporary thing, and they'll come back. But um, you know they said they'll have a guest room, so if we want to come visit, which obviously we will, and they said that you know they're going to be coming back for doctor's appointments because they love all their doctors here. So they'll coming back you know every couple months. So. And then of course for you know birthdays and holidays and all that. So I've just gotten so used to being able to see them ever since we've been back from China, you know, for the last what six years now. They've just been so close to us, and it was really nice to have them because before we lived in China, we lived in California. So I haven't really, you know, it's been nice to have my mom and dad so close. So yeah, that was kind of some sad news. So I've been trying to process that. And you know, they're gonna be selling their house and doing all that stuff. So yeah, so that's what's been going on there. Um, and again, 
these videos are normally a little more upbeat, so I do apologize. Um, and I normally go, you know, about an hour, but you know, it is late. I got to edit this still and I wanted to make sure I got, you know, I wanted to update y'all on some stuff and hang out with you. But being I didn't take notes, I don't know what else there is that's happened. Um, yeah, I'm, I usually really good about taking notes now. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Uh, again, Randy and I had a really good day today. We had so much fun. She came over, um, we diamond painted till about, um, till about noon. And then we went to a sushi restaurant near my house and we ate there. So we had sushi and then we came back and we diamond painted some more. And then she came with me to pick up Lou from school and Lou had a big old smile on her face. She was very surprised to see Randy. It was awesome. I never see her smile like that when I pick her up. So she was very happy. And then after we picked up Randy, we went and got a uh, bubble tea. We got boba. She'd never really had it before. She'd had it like one other time. So Lou, she got the same thing Lou always gets. Uh, mango slush with um, strawberry and mango boba. And then Lou, of course, wanted to show Randy all her nail stuff, her artificial nail stuff that she has. And she was just showing Randy all this stuff. Yeah, so it was a really good day. We really needed the day just to kind of hang out, have girl time and diamond paint. So it was a good day. But yeah, um, I think that's going to be it, y'all. Sorry for the short whip and chat this week. And uh, I hope y'all have a great next week. Like I said, I will miss you. And um, I'll have some stories for you, you know, when I get back of how, you know, how the trip was. But, um, you know, y'all are always in my thoughts. And please, you know, again, let me know how you are. I do think about all of y'all all the time. And, you know, this community means a lot to me. And y'all know how I feel about that. So, yeah. So I definitely want to know how y'all are. Um, what else? I'm going to maybe work on this for a few more minutes. But I'm going to probably head to bed soon. And if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you. Um, it is free. And when you subscribe, it just kind of lets me know that you like the path that I'm on and the, the content that I'm putting out. And if you do and you want to see more, after you subscribe, there's a little notification bell right next to the, the subscribe button. If you click on that bell, then you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And I normally post every other day, every two days, and it's mostly all diamond painting related. And I do go live on Sundays, normally, from four to five Central Standard Time. So I'd love to have you. A lot of times I'll have guests and we'll do some fun stuff. Um, what else? I think that's it, y'all. Oh, if you enjoyed this, give me a big old thumbs up. It does help. And for those of you that have already subscribed, thank y'all very much for being here with me and, and, you know, hanging out with me all the time. Really do appreciate it. So, okay, y'all take care. Um, I love you and I'll see you in the next one, okay? All right, bye guys.